Alright guys, we're back for more Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we started uh, the phase on mines. And I bet you don't know where I am. Well, I gave it away. Yeah, we're right here next to this door. And in today's episode... Well, that doesn't look safe. Reckless endangerment. Alright. Yeah. You gotta time this. Yeah, go, 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 go. You have to do this again later, but it's much harder. Ah, 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 man, I got hit. I thought I was. Yeah, I lost like four things because I forgot to save after the last video. And so I lost all the. And so I had to play my way back here, and I got hit like there's no tomorrow. I just don't like that guy. I don't even know if I scanned you. Yeah, you right, I scanned you. Yeah, so I took time from playing with Infamous. I got that in a PlayStation, so... I took time away from playing that game to come play this. Alright, so... Oh, Maverick. Yeah, you have to align up the, uh... You have to do something here. Yeah, you have to do that. <laughs> I vaguely remember what you do, because this is probably the biggest puzzle in the game right here, is the ore processing tower. Like, honestly, this game could have no other puzzles, but the ore processing tower is still the big one of this whole game. I figure out every time my controller loses its connection, like every time I point it away from the bar, I lose frames. So, to anyone out there who's whose plans on doing a Wii game for their for a video. Keep your controller on the bar at all times, or you won't be a happy camper. I don't know why you'd be a camper, anyways. Yeah, the only time you can really let go is when you're in morph ball mode. But still, keep it up on that bar at all times, or else it just goes entirely bad. Ah! Huh. That's what I'm talking about. This is why this puzzle is annoying. Because sometimes you're not sure. The bottom should still be in, be in the same place. Yeah. Good thing I didn't re rotate the bottom. <laughs> rotate the bottom at all. Ruh, ruh, ruh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's in place. Get down there. Samus. Get in the thing. There we go. See, look, I just lose 267 frames out of nowhere. I don't know why I'm losing so many frames. I don't like losing this many frames. Alright, there we go. Yeah, you can't go up to the yellow one yet. Not until we're done here. This dude, yeah, because we are gonna leave this place after we get the item that we're going for, and then we're gonna come back here after a while. Oh my god, I can't believe I lost so much health just to get here. Alright, so here's the one that's talking about. This one is much harder. These guys move much faster. I recommend just dropping. <laughs> See? You just drop anyways when you get hit. Alright, so now we get an elevator. We fell down, and now we get to take an elevator. Alright, this is cool. This level has inter-level elevators. And look at that. See that? That's the, uh... That's the crater from Talon Overworld, where the... I don't know if, I, if the game explained it yet or not, so I'm gonna keep it a secret, but if the game explained it, then you know what it is. 
Here's his explosive crates with actually some good stuff in them. But you don't want to stand too close to them when you shoot them. Yeah, these crates have a hookup. Oh. Alright, in this room... <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Yeah, if you... D uh, there's a missile in here, and if you blow up that little explosive crate to get to the missile, that dude dies in his little hole and he falls out and it's like I don't know why but that's just funny because the dead guy just fell out of the ceiling which is pretty cool effect they did with this game having him ah oh, oh god uh well this guy's not too terribly tough but he's not fun to fight look at that the frames are just dropping like there's no tomorrow that's completely disturbing. I was just standing still and the frames just dropped. There must be something causing the frames to drop. I've never had this bad of a frame rate problem with this game. Oh, yeah, so here we go. This guy. Alright, this is the uh, uh, elite pirate, right? I don't know. He's tough. That's all I know. Yeah, elite pirate, phasing enhanced space pirate. Yep, we gotta fight this guy. Now this guy can be a pain, cause he does that thing with his little palm. That's not so annoying on this guy, but on the next pirate like this, like there's another one called the Phazon Elite that we have to fight to get an important item. That guy, his little palm thing gives him power. If you hit him while his palm thing is out, he actually gains health back. Or, it, it does something for him. It makes him a much happier camper, though. Alright, you know what? Beat this guy. There you go. There's an easy kill. Just hit him with the chain, uh... That chain type thing. And that damages the force field. But I think that also caused something that happened. Yeah, see that? That like causes all these guys to come out. Which, I think it's... I think it's the introduction of... Of... Um, ah! Of... Um, wait, it sounds stupid. Yeah, these guys are... Right, ice troopers. Uh, they're... Th guys that are only weak to this be... But these guys are easy. That's why I like those. I like anything that you can freeze with ice and then they die in a hit because. Well, that's how awesome ice is. It freezes people and then they die in one hit. I'm trying to glance at how many frames I'm losing here at the same time as play. Alright, yeah, there's a lot of pirate data in this room. Another one. This pirate encrypted data encoded. Yeah, you gotta find all the pirate data. You know, if you want to get the hundred percent, like I'm going, because if you get a hundred percent, you get a bonus scene, and that's what I'm trying to unlock. Uh, all right, here we go. New pirate data. Pirate encrypted data. Yeah, again, these guys do generic engineer. Ah, yeah, engineering, <laughs> engineering, but can't even speak English. They don't have basic speaking skills, but they can genetically engineer people. God. Ah, oh my God. It makes me feel like I can do anything when people who don't have basic speaking skills can genetically engineer a human... Uh, thing. Don't want to say creature, because, you know... Alright, I think these are all unimportant, but, you know, sometimes... I know that there's some miscolorings of log entries in this game sometimes. Like ones that should be red sometimes come out unread. <laughs> Alright, so there's two more lores. Another lore, another lore. Actually, no, one of these is a computer to turn off that force field there. But we'll get to that later, because right now I'm going to stop this recording and I'm going to start a new one in the next 
because I can. And I got nothing better to do today, but I guess play some more Infamous. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Now. Bye.